We are going to go tapas bar crawling for the first time here in Seville, Spain, a city known for its tapas bars. They have over 3,000 of them here, which is why I'm very happy that I found a London Times article that shared what the best seven tapas bars in Seville are. I hope that they're right. I'm really happy that they're all within walking distance in the neighborhood below, the Santa Cruz or Old Town part of Seville. Most of the tapas bars open at one o'clock, they close at 4.30, and then they don't reopen until eight o'clock at night. Is there a chance they'll throw us out if we're not done by like 4.30? Have you ever gone tapas bar crawling in Seville? I haven't. How in the heck would I know? We thought before tapas bar hopping, we should get a little bit of culture in. The Cathedral of Seville is the largest Gothic cathedral in the world and the third largest cathedral in the world after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Its history goes back to the 13th century. Hey honey, what do you think? Well, the largest Gothic cathedral in the world is pretty stunning. I would have to agree, it's pretty amazing. You come here first and then you go do the tapas bar crawl, okay? location, La Azatoy Vinos, a tapas. You'll be in, I think. Melissa has set us up with an audacious goal of seven. I didn't even have enough fingers. Our tapas bar hop destinations, La Azotea of Vinos y Tapas, El Riconcillo, Castizo, La Brunilda, Mercado Lonia del Barranco, Bodeguita Romero, and Barrio Ropa. Seven places to go to. Uh, we walked by a couple yesterday. I don't think we're gonna have time, but we're gonna try. We only have until 4.30. Right now it is 12.00. We have arrived at our first place. I'm a little nervous. They don't really look open, but online it said that they were open, so. We just gotta try, hon. Just gotta try. All right, we are gonna pull the plug on this one because it doesn't really look tapas-like. It's very much a sit-down restaurant. And the Times article did allude to that a bit, but they also said it was tapas. And in the name, it's Vinos y Tapas, so. I think we are going to learn a lot about tapas today and how they work in Spain, at least in Seville. It's right, off to the first place. Off to the next first place. Yeah, let's do it. Bill is wild, going through all these little tiny roads. Now this is the place to start a tapas bar crawl. This place has been here forever. It is Seville's most ancient bar, and the family that now runs it started in 1858. And it was founded in 1670. No, I'm going to do the cod loins. I have been preparing for this. I've learned a new word. Caña. It looks like you got to order a drink first. Yeah. Vino Blanca. Eh, yeah. He did not look like he wanted to mess around. Just put your drink order. Yeah. We're learning. <laughs> I thought caña was a small beer. Uh, food ordered. Uh, we know a little bit of Spanish, but not enough. But I did double check today. Uh, how to say we have a, an allergy to shellfish because I thought that was important since we're trying oh, to think did you, variety. Did you say that to him? Yeah. And so he said there's no shellfish in that, it's just ham and chorizo. Okay. okay. Melissa has gone the Popeye route, she's got her spinach. I am what I am. El Ritam Chio, you did not disappoint us. One down. Five more to go. That took about a half an hour? It is 140. Okay. 
And so, eight, eight, one o'clock is when we started. So, 140. Ooh, this is going to be tough to get them all in. What do you think of the food? Fantastic. I absolutely love the spinach and garbanzo beans. Growing up, hearing about Spanish rice, eating Spanish rice, finally had Spanish rice for the first time. It was really good. Better than Spanish rice back in the States. So, on to the next. Let's go. Come on. This next one is 17 minutes away, so we'll be able to work off the food we ate. <laughs> yes, and we'll be hungry all over again. Mm -hmm. We're leaving the Santa Cruz neighborhood for Arenal, where a couple of New Wave tapas bars are located. This is the third place on our list. The second place we're hoping to be able to get into is Castizo. It is uh, supposed to be more modern, a little bit more of a fusion, but not quite. And uh, they opened up in 2017. So this is like a brand new place. So maybe it won't be that busy. Hot, hot, hot. We found a great tapas spot where we can stand up and do the tapas thing. Well, let's just check out the menu. Here, honey, this is where you're Yes. This I won't get messed up. Yes, awesome. yes. That's a Spanish olive. Delicioso. It's nice. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Mm. Best olive I think I've ever had. I'm on my second. That is a woman who's quite happy with what she tasted. These are shots of sherry, a fortified wine made in Spain that's often served with tapas. I don't know how to do it quickly. Maybe you could. Back in the early 90s, test tube shots. Yeah, they were a thing. You can do it, honey. Huh? Although I also have the wine to finish. Oh. Like, I think I want to hold that for just a moment. Although, do I just not finish the wine? Tapas bar hopping's new to me, so I don't know. Just down it. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Just! It's like a shot! You can do it! <laughs> You did it! That's really good. Yeah. Two down. There are some food experiences that are revelatory. The last time I had one that was truly to the level of this one was when we were living in uh, La Vie, Quebec. And it was in Quebec City at Le Chateau. And it was uh, goat's cheese inside of a puff pastry with some wonderful vegetables around it. Like that's the last time something blew my mind to the same level as the cauliflower did in there. Oh my God. Wow, oh, I'm surprised. I, like the, I knew you liked it, but wow. The cauliflower, it had like coffee on it and truffle and oh, it was uh, so good. You do know that we've only been to two and there's four more left. We need to go. So you're going to give that definitely a thumb up. Oh, oh my gosh. Castizo. I'm coming back for you. Oh. Okay. I may move here for you. Mm. It's so good. Okay, on this spot number number three, no, number but four, four, but actually three. Yeah, right. you know, it's complicated. 350 feet away, though. Come on. Here we go. This is supposed to be part of the new wave of tapas here in Seville. What do you think about tapas so far? I am having such a great time. It's so cool being able to try all of these different foods and to wander from place to place. I did have to switch it up and have some water. I'd have to say that the portions that we've gotten uh, have been pretty big. And so I'm kind of full already. So maybe bar hopping, tapas style. It's pretty, pretty hard to do, I think. Especially with setting out to go to seven spots. <laughs> Three is probably best. Three is just my horse. 
This isn't realistic. Don't try this at home, okay? It's beets, goat cheese, and some like coffee. Or maybe it's chocolate. I can't remember. <laughs> definitely beets, definitely goat cheese. Beets, I'll pass. Melissa, you really need to try these five critters. Just like you need to try my beets. No thanks. No thank you. No gracias. Another fantastic stop, La Brunilda. I'm very full. <laughs> so hard to keep doing this. Now I know where the crawl came from because it's pretty much to the point I have to crawl to the next spot because I'm too full and buzzed to like hop. And I wish we could get back to the hotel to siesta because oof. Off to place number five, which is actually four, but I think this will be it for the food. <laughs> this will be it. I like snorted when you were saying that. <laughs> this place it has been open since 1939, and it is especially known for both its potato salad and these like rolls with pork inside and goodness. and. I'm so full and it sounds so delicious. I have no idea what we're gonna do. <laughs> tapas, baby! This is like Thanksgiving on steroids. <laughs> do you have a tapas, There's baby, like, honey? It's hiding. <laughs> Our hop to Bodiquita Antonio Romero has us back in the Santa Cruz neighborhood. Okay, so Kiri Kiri is the number one sandwich in all of Seville, and we're about to try it. This one, yes, we wanted more, but it's like, oh, no, we can't do that. We just can't. We've eaten too much. Is this our last place for sure? Well, we could probably still get into the Mercado, and that's a little bit of a walk, so we could work some stuff off. All right, verdict's still out. Verdict's still out. Let's try this and see what we feel like. Well, so I'm back to the wine, and this is such a nice one. What? That place had an energy. Fantastic. We were like six guys working behind the bar. We stood at the bar and we got to like interact with people a little bit yeah. and they, be a little more outgoing than we usually yeah. are. Yeah, and it, they seemed like family and they were just rah, 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 like going back and <laughs> forth trying to get some drink and we're like, ah. it was it was quite fun to watch. And certainly boosted my energy level. It's like, oh, I'm all excited now. It's like. Let's keep going. We could hit all six of them. We could. <laughs> I don't Seven, know about six, that. whatever. Although I totally want to go back there on an empty stomach. They look like they had a bunch of fantastic things on the menu. What we tried yeah. was great. That was a delicious sandwich. Oh my god. We both have really bad garlic breath now, though. <laughs> don't come close hey, yeah, to come us. Come on, don't get so fresh with me, hon. <laughs> Oh, and then some uh, waiter was hitting on her. Uh, oh, whatever. He wasn't no, hitting on her. He no, said something nice. No, he, he said to Chris, your woman is cute. Right, which, which is true. Okay, so I can't. Thumb up above, big time. On to the next. Hopefully. Ooh, Hopefully. It's, it's like four o'clock, so. They might all be closed. Yeah. It's after 4.30. <laughs> so there's, there's just no way to test seven tapas spots inside of three and a half hours. I mean, if you can do it, kudos to you. We could not <laughs> at all. We think that even though it's after 4.30, this Mercado might still be open. We're gonna go in to see if we can find a dessert to top off our tapas. We're gonna top off our tapas experience with a dessert, possiblemente. Yeah, is that what you're suggesting? Exactly. About 20 eateries call Mercado Loña del Barranco Food Market home. Found sweets. <laughs> we both went with cookies and cream gelatos and coffee from Market Cafeteria. Ah, 
the tapas bar crawl has been a fantastic, delicious experience. A great idea. I gotta <laughs> say, honey, a great idea. Those places were amazing. Now it's time to walk it off. There was a lot of food. We figured it was maybe a meal and a half each. <laughs> At least. If you have the chance, come to Seville, Spain and do something like this. Maybe not as many places. Maybe spread it out over a few days. Yeah, but it's it's a ton of fun. The food is delicious. The atmosphere is amazing. The, the people city. Are so kind. Oh my gosh, the city. Yeah. The people are kind. So definitely thumb up about pun. Definitely. Uh oh, somebody's had too much. I know, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs>